Hello everyone, and welcome to Books with Bronte, where we get to read stories together. Today's story is Tell Me Something Good Before I Go to Sleep, and this is one of my favorite stories. And it's about a little bunny who is a little bit scared to fall asleep because she doesn't want to have a bad dream. So her big brother helps her find some things to be happy for. So let's get started. Tell me something good before I go to sleep. Willa was tired, so Willa went to bed. She lay there on her pillow this way, and that way, and another way. But Willa couldn't sleep. And that's Willa in the doorway. And then she's tossing and turning, trying to go to bed. Willoughby, called Willa, are you there? Yes, answered Willoughby. I'm here. I can't sleep, said Willa. Why can't you sleep, asked Willoughby. I'm afraid, said Willa. What are you afraid of? I asked Willoughby. I'm afraid that I might have a bad dream, said Willa. Think of something happy. Then you won't have a bad dream, said Willoughby. And that's her looking for her brother's help. So Willa tried to think of something happy, but she couldn't. Willoughby called Willa, are you still there? Yes, answered Willoughby, I'm still here. What can I think of that's happy, asked Willa. Oh, lots of things, said Willoughby. Tell me, tell me something happy before I go to sleep. Willoughby thought for a moment, then he said, Willa, look under your bed. And that's them in bed. So Willa leaned over and looked under her bed. What do you see? asked Willoughby. I see my chicken slippers, said Willa. That's right, said Willoughby. And do you know what your chicken slippers are doing? No, said Willoughby, I don't. They are waiting, just waiting for nobody's feet but yours. Good, said Willa. That's happy. What else? And here's her chicken slippers underneath her bed. Wouldn't it be cool to have chicken slippers? What do you see on the chair? asked Willoughby. I see my blue and white jumpsuit, said Willa. Do you know what your jumpsuit is doing? asked Willoughby. No, said Willa, I don't. It's longing, just longing for tomorrow when you will jump out of bed and put it on. Good, said Willa, that's happy. What else? And that's the jumpsuit. Willoughby picked Willa up in his arms and packed softly downstairs to the kitchen. He opened the pantry door. What do you see on the shelves? asked Willoughby. I see bread and honey and oats and milk and apples, said Willa. That's right, said Willoughby. All waiting to be made into breakfast for you and me to share. Oh, good, said Willa. That's happy. What else? Look at all the things in the pantry. All the ingredients that will be turned into something new. Willoughby cried, Will, carried Willa into the living room and switched on the lamp. What do you see in the corner? asked Willoughby. I see my blanket basket full of toys, said Willa. What do you think they are doing? asked Willoughby. I don't know, said Willa. They are dreaming, dreaming for tomorrow and the games that you are going to play. That's very happy, said Willa. What else? All the toys. They're finding so many happy things in their house. Willoughby carried Willa to the window and opened the curtains wide. What do you see in the darkness? asked Willoughby. I see the only the night, said Willa. What do you think the night is doing? asked Willoughby. I don't know, said Willa. The night is waiting, waiting for the morning which is on its way around the corner. That's happy, said Willa. And looking out in the night sky.
The morning is waiting too, said Willoughby. What for? asked Willa. Oh, lots of things, said Willoughby. What things? asked Willa. For grass to grow, flowers to bloom, and leaves to flutter. For clouds to float, wind to blow, and sun to shine. For birds to fly, bees to buzz, and ducks to quack. That's a lot of happy things, said Willa. All the things that are waiting for morning. There's just one sad thing, said Willoughby. What's that? asked Willa. The morning is waiting for you, too. It's waiting for you to wake up. But I'm already awake, said Willa. That's why it's sad, said Willoughby. The morning likes waking you up, and that's what makes the morning happy. Willoughby, said Willa. What is it, asked Willoughby. I'm tired. And that's her brother helping her. So Willoughby carried Willa back to bed. What do you see in your bed, asked Willoughby. I see my bear, said Willa. What do you think he is doing, asked Willoughby. Waiting for me to snuggle up to him, said Willa. That's right, said Willoughby, waiting especially for you. That's them snuggling, getting ready for bed. And when the morning comes and wakes me up, will you still be here, asked Willa. I'll still be here, said Willoughby. Good, said Willa. That's the happiest thing of all. Good night, Willa. But Willa didn't answer. She was sound asleep. And that's her brother, making sure she's sleeping. And that's the end. That's the end of Tell Me Something Good Before I Go to Sleep. And I think it's an important story to remember that there's always going to be something happy around you if you really look for it. Thanks for listening. Have a good night.